Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss in detail about racemization and different methods used for the resolution of racemic mixture. Let's begin with our first point, racemization. When equal quantities of enantiomers are mixed together, it results in the formation of an optically inactive form called racemic mixture and which is denoted by using the prefix this plus minus before the name of the compound. The form racemic mixtures are optically inactive means it doesn't rotate the plane polarized light because this is happens because the rotation caused by the molecules of one isomer is exactly cancelled by equal and opposite rotation caused by the same number of molecules of the other enantiomer and this mechanism is termed as external compensation that is the conversion of an optically active enantiomer into a racemic mixture is known as racemization now here we uh, discuss how this racemization can be brought and there are the different ways by which first by action of heat an optically active enantiomer changes into a racemic mixture by the action of heat for example when dextro tartaric acid is strongly heated with water it gets converted into a mixture of racemic acid and meso tartaric acid meso tartaric acid is also optically inactive form second way is by the action of chemical reagent racemization is also brought about by the presence of foreign substances particularly acids and bases in the solution of an optically active substance for example addition of sodium hydroxide to dextrolactic acid or levolactic acid leads to the formation of racemic mixture whereas third method is ato racemization means racemization takes place by merely keeping the substance at room temperature for some time and this is known as ato racemization for example any one of the enantiomer of dimethyl bromosuccinate changes into a racemic mixture on standing at room temperature so here we discuss actual mechanism of racemization like racemization is believed to take place through the formation of some intermediate and this form intermediate is no longer chiral in nature and a chiral intermediate form is an enol for example in an aldehyde or ketone in which the chiral carbon carries hydrogen and is in position with respect to the carbonyl group the given optically active compound changes into an achiral enol by tautomeric change the enolic form being unstable reverse to the chiral keto form but in doing so it produces dextro and levo enantiomers in equal quantities and thus racemization takes place here is the diagrammatical example or diagrammatical representation by taking the example of 3 methyl to pentanone so here is the keto form and which is a produce dextro rotatory so it will get converts into this achiral enolic form which is unstable intermediate and which will due to that instability it converts into keto form so it will converts into or which produce a levo rotatory form so this dextro and levo these two isomers forms a racemic mixture now uh, yes there is a we seen about how the racemic mixture get formed and now here we discuss the resolution of racemic mixture 
synthesis of an optically active compound produces a mixture of both dextro and levo isomers in equal amounts a mixture is called a racemic mixture or a racemate the separation of a racemic mixture into its two optically active component plus and minus isomers that is dextro and levo isomers is called resolution the main difficulty in a process of resolution is that enantiomers have identical physical as well as chemical properties so they cannot be separated by ordinary methods however the following methods can be used for this purpose so enantiomer having this property identical physical and chemical properties but here the some methods like mechanical separation biochemical separation chemical separation and catalytic methods we use for the resolution of racemic mixture let's discuss one by one so first one is mechanical separation if the d or an l forms of a substance exist in well defined crystalline forms the separation can be done by hand picking with the help of magnifying lens and a pair of tweezers for example a d and l form of sodium ammonium tartrate can be separated by this method the method has very limited application and applies to only few crystalline constituents having different shape so here are the few limitations like this method has a very limited application as very few enantiomeric substances exist in the form of mechanically separable crystals moreover the method is very laborious and time consuming so this is about the mechanical separation moving to the biochemical separation method in this method the resolution is done by the use of microorganisms when certain bacteria yeast or molds are added to a solution of a racemic mixture they decompose one of the optically active forms more rap rapidly than the other for example when the mold penicillium glaucum is allowed to grow in a solution of racemic ammonium tartrate the mold completely destroys dextro um, ammonium tartrate while levo tartrate is left practically unaffected there are the few limitations like the main disadvantage of this method is half of the material is destroyed during resolution the separation is carried out only in dilute solution the process is very slow and only small amounts of the material can be separated moving to the chemical separation this is probably the best method of resolution it involves the conversion of racemic mixture into a mixture of diastereomers of some other substance by re reaction with an optically active reagent since diastereomers have different physical properties the mixture of diastereomers can be easily separated through fractional crystallization fractional distillation as well as by adsorption chromatography each of the diastereomers is then suitably treated to generate a pure enantiomer of the original substance for example the racemic mixture of lactic acid is treated with a single enantiomer of an optically active base levobrucin or strychnine it would result in the formation of a mixture of two crystalline salts the salt this form two salts would be levobrucin plus lactate and levobrucin levolactate while brucin part of the salt has the same configuration in both cases the acid parts have non superimposable mirror image configuration in the two cases so that the two salts represent two diastereomers as such the crystal of the two salts differ in their solubilities and can be separated by 
fractional crystallization. Once the separation has been achieved, reaction of each salt with hydrochloric acid would generate a free lactic acid in pure enantiomeric form. Here is the presentation of this explanation. Here like racemic mixture of lactic acid is treated with optically active brucine. It forms a two salts. Okay. Like uh, here is the mixture of diastereomeric salts get formed and as because of its difference in physical properties they can be separated by fractional crystallization. After separation they can be treated with hydrochloric acid and individual or pure enantiomer we get easily. So this is about the chemical method or chemical resolution. Moving to the next one is kinetic method. This method is based on the fact that one of the enantiomer of racemic mixture reacts faster than other with optically active compound because of the difference in free energy. Example like uh, menthol reacts faster with dextromandelic acid than levomandelic acid. Thus, with difference in kinetic of reaction, racemic mixture can be separated. There are many more methods like resolution by chromatography, absorption chromatography, we can be also used for the resolution of this racemic mixture. Also the deracemization which is also one of the method we use for the resolution of racemic mixture. So here we discuss about what is the Resumization as well as different methods which we use for the resolution of racemic mixture. Hope all of you getting. Thank you and happy learning.